hello guys welcome to another driving test video so the test you're about to watch is a test at bromley driving test center on thursday the 4th of april 2024 and the time for the test is 10 14 a.m in the morning now unfortunately this driving test was a fail and a very sad one for that matter because this is now the sixth attempt for this learner and if you follow my bromley driving test videos then maybe you probably would have seen the third fourth and fifth driving test attempt for this learner which i posted not so long ago and maybe during the video we'll discuss the reasons why this is happening uh, because yeah it's the sixth one now and obviously the next is going to be the seventh so let's go into the driving tests in depth so um i believe there was about four driving faults um in this test i am not so sure exactly what they were because i don't have the result yet and i can't really remember um the examiner's um, feedback because I've had um, another two tests recently after that so my head is a bit mumbled up but I do remember what the serious fault was clearly which we're going to see later on ahead in the video so yep let's stay tuned let's watch on and see what we can pick up on and you would actually see that the driving was not actually bad which has been the case in the previous tests but the three main issues here are one that we tend to not make enough progress like keeping up with traffic in that and second one which oh yeah i remember now is undue hesitation and we had five of them on this test five undue hesitation and then the third which is planning you know if you can plan well you're able to make decisions and move on So anyways, yep, this is um, Bontash Lane. This is the junction coming out from the test center. And if you know Bromley well by now, you know that this can be a very busy junction. So pay attention to all around left, right. And if someone gives you waves, so we're coming to get away here. Make sure you are clear on your left as well. There's no cars turning left. So she did hesitate, probably a second or two here. Could have gone right from the point the bus gave way. But hey, not the end of the world. It's just the beginning. You rather take your time. So, yep, we're now heading up towards um, the roundabout. And um, we get there and see how we deal with that.
So up until this point, there really hasn't been anything to pick up on. Everything's moving fine so far. And um, there's no issues with progress because there's been vehicles ahead. Plus, we then had the bend just as soon as the traffic moved on a bit. Now, I must say, comparing this driving so far to the learner's previous driving test, which is the fifth attempt, there's actually been a little bit more progress compared to the previous one. As the learner pulled up on the left ahead, the speed while trying to pull up, in our opinion, was quite too fast. And then the learner hits the curb as she pulls up. Now, I am pretty much sure there will be a minor fault there. So be very careful when you're pulling up, reduce your speed in good time so that you can avoid situations like this. Now, some examiners might as well give you a serious fault for that situation. Approaching a pavement that close when you're coming to pull up, it is not always safe. Now, I can be very sure that if that curb was higher than that, the examiner might have reached out for the brake or the steering which would then be a serious fault. And also remember that one of the reasons why an examiner or examiners make learners pull up on a main road like this is to check if you're going to actually pull up properly, close enough to, be um, to the pavement without blocking the traffic passing by. So make sure, use your left mirror, check and be sure that you are not sitting far from the pavement, hands now more into the road and then cars are going to have to drive over into the other lane to pass you. Keep this in mind. Use your mirrors. Make sure you pull up appropriately. And remember, when you're moving off, it's a main road. Do your full six-point check. Remember your blind spot. And when you're checking your blind spot, remember you should be looking into the driveways and junctions on your sides. And that right there is a very bad driving by the van driver. And as of course, the examiner did not actually fault the learner for that situation. So remember, if this is you on your test, you haven't done anything wrong and she has taken the correct response to that. So that was actually very good, very, very, very good from this learner because in previous situations, I don't know so well if she would have handled it the way she did in this case. So that's a very good situation. So don't go ahead from this point now worrying about that. Stay calm, continue your test and focus on what is ahead of you. And as you would have seen there, although she handled and responded correctly to the first um, situation by stopping just before that van went through the middle of the roundabout. But after that situation had passed, she could have gone ahead at that point Fair enough, maybe still under shock, she waited. Now, uh, another opportunity came where the cars from the opposite direction were now continuing straight. So that were now your blockers. And it was about several of them. So we kept waiting. So 
you see right there at that point she then gets a minor fault for undue hesitation now if that first situation did not happen and you waited that long at such situation or sorry in such condition where there are lots of cars going straight ahead blocking your um, traffic from your right then it's very possible to have gotten a serious fault there but i can see where an examiner would be lenient because of what just happened so show pity on that and maybe give a minor fault for that undue hesitation and um i would probably assume again maybe maybe don't um, don't take my word for it take over a picture uh, Take it with a pinch of salt. Um, maybe again, this might be the reason why the examiner gave um, five hesitation without giving a serious thought for them. You know, maybe, you know, because of the experience from the first um, situation at the roundabout, maybe that triggered everything else that she then did after that. But keep in mind that I'm just assuming. But if this was the case, remember also that not every examiner would pity you that much. You're supposed to be able to move on from that situation because at the end of the day you're supposed to be driving with everyone else on the road something happens yes get on with it and move on join the road again but then on the other hand if it was actually something a lot more serious than that i know that normally examiners will probably ask you if you're okay to continue if you wanted to maybe pull up and um you know take a few seconds or so but that's if it's something really serious and maybe examiner can see that physically you are shaken up by that situation so yep but in this case it wasn't anything too serious you know it was just a silly driver who probably threw you off get and yeah that's it so don't forget you don't want to be traumatized or over little things then you're literally in that point maybe not ready to be driving on london street because you would see a lot more than that once you get that license and you're alone And right here is where she got the serious fault. So as we can see, we are now pulling up on the right, which is going to be the maneuver. So we're going to be reversing two cars length. So I'm going to just let us watch the video together now. And we can probably have the chat about this in the comment box below.
And right there, I believe you do not need me to say anything much. So that was not good, unfortunately. And no matter how nice an examiner was to be, you would have to question if they are actually doing their job or if they should have that job in the first place if they were to pass a learner after witnessing that. And so I believe that we all agree at this point that this was a fair result or should I say decision, unfortunately. Even though the learner did mention that, you know, it was actually a pleasant ride with the examiner. She was very nice and all of that. But this is the case. An examiner would have to do what they have to do regardless how pleasant you know they are or regardless how good the, the conversation or the time together was and that's just it they're only doing their job so but i'm very pleased as well that the learner took this positively she knew she she messed up and it was fair and that's what i like to see you know so don't mess up and then try and blame someone for it or you expect a miracle the miracle already happened the luck already came you know we had five minor faults for undue hesitation that alone is lucky because not many people get that opportunity so yeah and this is the point where i actually stopped saying we needed luck because we've had many lucks we just need prayers now really so yeah
and as you can see again at the roundabout we keep sitting there clueless about what is going on and this is one of the situations where if um, your instructor was to be in the car or if i were actually behind you'd be feeling embarrassed at this point because you look like if you haven't actually taught <laughs> the learner what to do at that point so we've come through about three or four roundabouts now and as you can see we haven't improved as we came through you know the sets of them so you'd assume maybe when we get through the first or second one we kind of pick up from that point and build a bit more um, confidence and momentum there but that hasn't changed which is really unfortunate and on this stretch of the road the speed limit is 30 miles an hour and we're just about 23 24 ish you know at the moment and ahead of us is clear so i mean could have made a bit more progress there so maybe 25 26 at least you know but yeah So at this point, they are now heading back to the driving test center. And um, yep, you have seen it already. You have witnessed it yourself. This was a very unfortunate one. I wouldn't say we needed luck because we have been very lucky. Five undue hesitation and yet they were all minors. Should have been serious at that point. But yeah, examiner has been very generous. And um, uh, to be honest, the roundabout, not so good at all. And I really did hope, you know, the learner could have pulled it off this time around in the sixth attempt. But to be honest, yeah, unfortunately, anxiousness, anxiety, I mean, everything all together, put together. And this is the reason why... You know, when you take your test, you're going to end up coming up with different reasons every time. The test fails have not been consistent. And that's the evidence that the problem is not really a particular thing. And this is what happens when you're too anxious or too nervous. And, you know, you keep making silly mistakes, passing, I'm sorry, failing for different things and every time. So you've got to put yourself together. Maybe a little bit more of understanding would do, but... I mean, we have had lots of lessons, so it's just the time to work on the mindset now, if you ask me. So we're going to be doing a lot of work on that mind planning, building up, you know, a bit more of confidence and moving along with the traffic and keeping up with the traffic, making decisions and be decisive about it. Go for it if you're going to do it, you know. But yeah, so don't forget, if you find this video useful, if you find it helpful, please, please, please support the channel. Like the video, share um you know comment below if you have any questions below and if you want to financially support the channel as well you can use the thanks icon below the video as well and that would really be appreciated and as always nothing is too small a pound two five even ten pounds if you can afford 
that would really be appreciated so this is it sadly and i was so devastated when i had the news i mean it was yeah sixth one and i am going to dance the day we finally pass this i hope i mean as long as we have the energy to keep going and she has the energy to keep going and you know hopefully one day someday she'll be calm enough to you know do what is required give the examiner what they need to see they need evidence I mean, she's not doing the worst things in the situation. I mean, Luffy is on due hesitations, not making progress. Not the worst thing that, you know, anyone can do on the road to not make them unsafe to be on the road. But it's just unfortunate that you can't keep driving on the road and holding people back. You can't get to roundabout and having no clue about when it's safe to go and not to go. Because eventually that is going to force drivers around you at some point to start driving dangerously just to get past you and that's the problem with it you know but yeah this is just it sadly and um yeah that that was really it so i hope you found it useful please 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 you know build that confidence walk on the mind don't be too anxious especially when you failed multiple times now it can get worse every next time now because you start to worry about the previous one so you're either going to be too fast or too slow or too careful and that's not going to help you so yep that's really it for this driving test stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you in the next video peace i'm out